What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another Pokemon video. We are doing a Patreon opening for our good friend Steve. Thank you so much for the support on Patreon, Steve. We have two Zacian tins. Ah, uh, there was a bit of a delay. I don't know. I'm not sure. UPS just took a while for these to get here, so we're almost like a week late, but we finally got our tins. Uh, so Steven did pick up two from us through Patreon, uh, but as per our new uh, tradition, we're doing a quick mail day. We got three PSA cards. We are moving into the Neo era, although it is pretty pricey, so we're staying unlimited for now. Uh, again, rule of thumb in this crazy market is if you can't get the card you want, go down a grade, maybe go to unlimited versus first edition, and then just pick up what you can. And to the, along those lines, we have a PSA 9, so we're still going Mint, uh, Unlimited Houndor. So Houndor is kind of interesting, this is like Neo, so this was when the uh, second gen was just released, that's why even a basic that does evolve could get a hollow, although the magnet, the, the uh, Magnemite kind of is kind of weird. Alright, oh it's because that's steel, but I really like this art, it's just kind of like lurking in the brush. Very cool card right there. And then this is actually one we picked up recently, but it was an 8.5 grade, which is, you know, obviously there's nine collections, there's 10 collections, but 8.5, I'm not sure how many 8.5 collections are out there. So we did pick up another Houndoom. So we got the evolutionary line. This is the introduction of the dark type, and it is another mint nine. This art is nothing not as cool. There's like another Houndoom that looks really nice in the Neo era. And our last card is only a 8, but we did pick up something in that first edition, and it is a Meganium. And so the first two are Neo Discovery, this is Neo Gen. And uh, yeah, this was the Grass Starter from Gen 2, and does have that Wild Growth ability similar to the Venusaur recently. And very nice pickups. Yeah, slowly expanding into the Neo era. But uh, actually, we're expanding into a lot of different places just because with the prices what they are, that's all we can do. But all right, let's get these tins opening. We'll see if we can find Steve. He, I asked him what he was looking for. He said boss's orders. We haven't been doing so hot on that, but maybe we needed to do an opening for someone else to find them. Let's begin. All right, we are ready to go. Uh, I think this is a very solid product. You know, these Zacians, last time we checked in our Pokemon episode, it was about like $10, I think. Uh, and it does come with five packs, two Rebel Clash. Ooh, Burning Shadows is nice. Eh, evolutions, all right, whatever. And yeah, and a Sword and Shield. All right, so as per usual, we'll kind of go in reverse order. All right, good luck, Steve. Here we go into evolutions. I have no idea what you're looking for <laughs> evolutions. Let's just find a mega something. But yeah, if you guys would like to participate in one of these opens, check out our Patreon page, link down below. And one of the tiers, you can pick up the product and uh, basically at cost or what I pay for it. Usually, basically the game nerd price. Uh, and then the Patreon fee will actually go towards the shipping. All right, so we did get a hit in Slowbro EX. I think this is one of those uh, ones that's like everyone pulls this card for whatever reason. Hey, we will take it. Anything from these XY packs is always good. Hope everyone's having a good day. And currently, it is ridiculously warm during the recording. At the time of this recording, it's like 90 degrees outside in the greater Boston area. All right, Machop. Ooh, okay. At least we got something. Put this off to the side. All right, bur uh, let's go Sword and Shield first. And then we'll go Burning Shadows. And then Rebel Clash. Save those bosses' orders for last. Sword and Shield. I mean, hey, you got two Zacians. Maybe we can go for the full playset. We'll be all set in that regard. Stunfisk. <laughs> That's a cool Pokemon. Team Yelgrunt. Hoot Hoot, Vulpix, Nickit, Chincho, and then Rillaboom. The lesser of the two Rillabooms. Rillaboom, we've been playing some Rillaboom online. It's pretty fun, not the best, but uh, you can have some, if you go first, your second turn, with uh, really good draws, you can go in for an attack of 280. 
So definitely have a lot of potential there. All right, Pokey Kid, Energy Search, weird card, like Energy Spinner, just a straight up improvement. All right, Grookey, Bolton, and a Cloyster. All right, Burning Shadows. Wouldn't that be amazing if we can pull a Rainbow Zard for our patron, Steve? Uh, actually, that might be something we add to the Patreon as well. We do have a handful of the ETBs. The, my only concern there is some of the ETBs, they have like, the cards have significant edge wear on the back, which was devastating when we did pull that Rainbow Charizard. All right, nothing from the first Burning Shadows pack. Let's go into the second one. All right. Buffalant. It's always a weird, weird name. Sandy Gas, Caterpie, Lediba, Inke, Hoot Hoot, and then Raticate. All right. Uh, so far, we only got one kind of hit, but it's from XY Era. It is time for the boss search to commence. Only four packs is not a lot to work with. So I just hope we don't get shut out, to be honest. Tool Scraper, that's a good card. Corsola, Benicle, Hatterene, what the? <laughs> Wonder what the chances of that are happening. All right, strike one. Turf Field, useful card if you like Rillaboom. Unless you go the Row Egg, which uh, we did have a couple matches against Row Egg, and that one did defeat us. But I'm not convinced, not entirely convinced that's like 100% better. We'll need to continue to flush that out. Alright, so far, two down, nothing to show for it. Come on, let's get something. Where is Mr. Giovanni? He is a difficult guy to locate in these packs. I've opened like five boxes and have found one. That is absurd. Okay, we did get a V card, Pinchurin, Counter, Cur Counter Krizap. <clears throat> Basically, you take damage for three coins. For each head, put three damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. Uh, it doesn't have much as far as attacks go, but that's pretty cool. Um, you can't really stack that because like the horror engines or psychic Pokemon. But not too bad. At least we got something. Our, our last chance for a boss's order. Let's see what we can do. Steve, thanks so much for the support. And here we go. In the close, what can we find? A Shinx, Roly Coley, Appelin, Tiana, Magikarp, a Lotad, and a Zamazenta. Okay, so. Uh, that's the only thing with these tins, like I feel like you get a lot of good value, you know, 10, uh, and basically we, we, we sold these for $18 a pop, and you kind of get 10 back for each of these, and you do get packs, but it's not the best pack opening, at least we didn't get shut out, but uh, yeah, thanks so much for the support, Steve, and thank you everybody for watching. If you do want to support the channel, simply like and subscribe all down below. Check out the Patreon page if you want, and yeah, that's going to be it for today. I'm Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.